Some companies use the term corporate citizenship simply as a synonym for corporate responsibility. They mean the same thing as social responsibility. Other more discerning ones realise that by choosing the term citizenship, they're capturing something else, the political. And the term citizenship introduces questions conventionally of status, in a polity, uh, entitlements, being in a polity yield, and opportunities and rights to participate in political processes. Now it's the case of course that companies share some of these, but not all. When it comes to status, corporations do have a national identity if you like. They can sue, and they can be sued, but they don't vote directly, though they might influence the political process, which we'll come back to. And they don't usually serve in war, but sometimes they are uh, re required to do so. When it comes to entitlements, companies, I think, like individuals, assume that by virtue of paying taxes, there, they ha there are certain benefits to this. And for companies, it's often in the form of the physical infrastructure, communication systems, health, education systems, which provide a setting in which companies can, can thrive. And thirdly, they also participate in political processes. For example, they lobby governments. This raises a question of dastardly deeds, smoke-filled rooms, so companies will need to think about what is responsible lobbying. Sometimes companies participate in more deliberative processes with community and governmental representatives, for example, over the location of company facilities.